The last big broken thing I need to fix before I can start styling my website is I need to get these images fixed. Right now, the images here on the home page of the website, I've got my alt text displaying, but I don't have the image that's supposed to be up here in the upper left corner. And down here on the bottom, over here where it says Kinetico Inc., I was supposed to have an image over here as well. That's not displaying on the page. So it's time for me to work on those particular issues. So to do that, in the back end of Joomla, I'm going to go to Extensions, Template Manager. And here inside of the Template Manager, you will notice this column here called Template. And these are links to the HTML and the CSS side of all of these templates. Now we've made copies of this stuff before. We've made these styles, but styles are simply instances of the templates that just have different parameters associated with them. Like this template is associated with the language of all. This one's associated with the English homepage. This one's associated with the Italian homepage. But all of the HTML and CSS behind all three of those template styles is exactly the same. And the way you get to it you can either go over here to templates, find your template in the list and edit from there, or you can click right here, right on these links where are the names of the templates. So I'm going to click on the name of the template for Kinetico. And here you'll see we have our template thumbnail. If we click on that, we have the full version of the web page, what we're building. And we have the ability to edit the main page template, that's our index.php, or edit our CSS file. So I'm going to click on edit the main page template. And this will give me a little window here for editing my HTML. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll on down here to where I have my images located here. And it just says images slash logo.png. That is the wrong path to my logo. It's a little bit more in depth than that. So what we need to add in front of this is templates slash Kinetico slash images slash logo.png. That is the correct path to our image. So if we go ahead and hit the save button here and I refresh the front end of my website, now I have my image showing up here and it's present, which is great. So let's apply that same fix down here at the bottom of the screen. So if we scroll on down here to the bottom, a lot of returns here. I'm gonna clean that up here real quick. Then we have down here my images slash footer logo, the correct path should be templates slash Kinetico slash images. Now remember where that Kinetico in here is coming from, templates slash Kinetico, that is coming from your XML file in line four where we specified the name of your template. Remember I told you that would also create the folder where that template is stored inside of Joomla. So we're going to our templates folder. Once we're in the templates folder, we're looking for Kinetico which was the name of this particular template. But if you called it something else, it'll be by that other name. And then slash images, that'll be the images folder inside of that. And then look for that particular image. Go ahead and say save and close. And when you refresh the front end of the website, you will see down here at the bottom of the screen, our Kinetico footer image. So now, finally, at this point in time, we have a Joomla website. We have all of the content in place for this Joomla website. We've assigned all the modules to the correct positions, and we've made sure that any images that are built into this template are now set to display here on the front end of the website. What's left to do? Well, tons and tons of styling, and I'm going to be covering that in the next chapter.